Hello guys and welcome to a new little series I like to call How To Make and then you just tell me what you want me to make. But before we jump straight into this video I want to say a massive thank you for all the support so far on my YouTube channel. The last video was insanely fun to make and just yeah thank you for being so supportive and throwing in such nice comments. It's been absolutely awesome to read through your feedback and comments and I cannot wait to make some more stuff. So without further ado, this is how to make a Thought Park type beat. Now, if you guys are familiar with this CD, I'm making a soundtrack. Soundtrack? I'm not making a whole soundtrack, that's long. I'm making a beat very similar to the area called Port and Bass Camp, which has got like four or five different songs. I think they're the songs and the style of sound that reminds me most of Thought Park, which isn't obviously this. That's a classic, but I'm just saying. These specific songs remind me a lot of like Thought Park in the summer, so yeah. Now for anyone who doesn't know, Thought Park is an island. Like no other. So the creators of this album, my absolute best friends, I'm a score, they cleverly used the sounds that remind us of islands, or like tropical sounds. And I'll show you guys the easiest way to do this, is basically just to use the right instruments. So the first thing I did when creating my Thought Park type beat was set the BPM to 128, which is technically like house music tempo. It's quite an upbeat tempo and this suits the whole excitement type vibe. Let's just get in there, have some fun. Some people do it differently, but I wanted to start with the melody first because I know that it's super important. The melody is key. Melody is absolutely key when it comes to creating a soundtrack because it's got to be something memorable, it's got to be something that you can vibe with, it's got to be something that sticks in your head, especially theme park music because this stuff is on repeat. So if the melody is not god tier, it will just annoy you unless it's the Smiler's melody and then that's kind of supposed to annoy you, but it works. The first thing I wanted to do was start with a kalimba or a marimba. It doesn't really matter, but as long as it's either one of the two, I think it's a really good instrument that reminds a lot of people of that tropical island vibe and it's a very melodic instrument. I think the tone of it is amazing, so I used it. Anyway, I came up with this little melody pattern. I'll try to play it. So once I'd locked in that melody, I made loads of different instruments and duplicated that melody over and over again so these instruments would all play the same thing. Uh, this is just called layering and it helps you get the right sound that you're after. And I ended up getting a really cool melody, not from one instrument but like four. Now the melody is important because it is played with similar notes on the same scale as the Thought Park soundtrack, the epic sunset theme that everyone knows. So this is this is kind of the trick to make a Thought Park type song. Because those specific notes are played so much throughout the park, if you can get them somehow into your songs, they will sound like a Thought Park track. Next thing I did was add the bass. Man just F up the bass. Bass, bass. And this sounds like this. Again, I really liked that like plucked style of bass. I didn't want it to be too washed out or too low, but I also wanted it like a housey vibe to fit the tempo that it's working with and to give it a bit of a bounce. So yeah, I also added another bass line. I'm layering again here just to try and make that bass sound as cool as possible. Not many people layer bass, definitely melody, but they should be quite crisp and clear, unless it's like dubstep. Uh, but yeah, I added like a house bass, and I think they sounded quite cool together. It gave it that depth that I think it needed. So once I got all of that down, I moved on to percussion and the drum beat. This is pretty simple, a 4-4 house beat. A 4-4 house beat is basically just, if I said beatbox, 
you'd go boots and cats. That's it. <laughs> Uh, but I added a little bit of my own percussion. I chopped up a bongo drum loop. Loops are cool, but if you can try and make them your own, that's awesome. So I chopped up little hits and rearranged them into the drum pattern that I was after. And then I cheated and threw a loop on top, which is like a 4-4 house beat, because it just works. I also added some kicks uh, of my own, and that's just four to the floor. Once I'd locked them in, it was basically just structuring that. So I wanted to start with a little bit of a percussion build up. I use a riser and an impact. It helps tell a story. It's like a journey. It's like, oh, something's happening because you can hear the riser and then the answer to the question is the impact. I am seriously deeping that, but it does subconsciously affect the way you listen to music. I also threw in a few like tropical bird island sounds just to try and get the general ambience, ambience, whatever you want to call it, of the island. Right, once that's all added in, I was thinking, what else can I add to this track? Steel drums. That is like the most famous island sound ever. Now, the key with the steel drums is you want to find a perfect balance between Fort Park and Splash Landings. <laughs> Because if you have too much steel drums, it's gonna sound like splash landings, but if you use it well enough, sparingly, and to move the melody forward, it's gonna sound cool. So you have to find a balance. And then the other thing, the last thing I added was a pan flute. Now this is like one of my favorite instruments on the planet. Uh, and I'm so glad that Thor Pop use it a lot. And that is just like the main melody um, for the track. It's like, it's the coolest sounding instrument ever. But I used that to just do a couple notes here and there to make the track sort of sound complete, to fill it in a little bit. Because once I've put in the chords, Again, to fill it in, um, it, I thought it was still missing a little bit of something. And just when you guys think you're done, you have to remember one last vital step to any song you ever produce. And that means it's time to cue those hi-hats. Then all you need to do is structure it. So I started with a build up, put the riser in, then put the impact on and then had just the melody. And then I built it up again and then had the melody with the bass line and the chords and the birds. And that's like the drop. And then I broke it down again and then just had the bass line and the thought part melody to finish it off. Just so you know, it's definitely a thought part beat. And then yeah, I just faded it out and that is how I structured the track. So I'm going to leave this track to play us out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about how to make a thought pop beat. Thank you for watching. I am the Arch Nemesis.